Hello, Sarah. It is Monday. It's still Monday. I have 45 minutes. Um, it's still Monday. Today is also my mother's birthday, which I kind of forgot, um, until I received a lovely, lovely text from her cussing me out at 7.30 tonight, um, about why I hadn't written on her wall on Facebook yet. Yeah, I love my family. But, yeah. Um, and then I made peanut butter cookies for my brother and my dad, and they told me how much they sucked. Great family time. Yeah. I don't make peanut butter cookies. They're not my specialty. I really have no clue when the hell they're done. Um, and I, and they know this. They know that I don't make peanut butter cookies. I don't like them. I don't particularly enjoy them. Um, I don't understand when they're done and when they're not because I prefer doughy cookies and peanut butter cookies just don't have that much flour in them. Therefore, they're going to always be kind of gooey. Whatever. Um, so yeah. So now that it's winter break, winter break's really, really nice. I've been able to, um, go to the gym every single day since I've gone home and it feels so good because <sighs> I love the gym. I love my elliptical. It's just, it's so much harder at school to like go because it's like such a hassle to like get your stuff on and go over to the gym and then that's extra laundry for you to do later with the laundry machine and it's just like I need to make time to do it next year which I'm or next semester well technically next year but whatever I'm going to but I love the why <laughs> it makes me happy um the other thing that makes me really really happy about winter break is that I have a stack of books that I want to read and um I'm going to show you all these said books and it's a long list and I'm not going to get done with all of them but we'll see how far I can get along and this is in no particular order because whichever one I read next I have no idea which one it's going to be until I finish the one that I'm on now. It's just like one of those things it's like the second I finish a book I know exactly which book I'm going to read next but I don't know up until that moment. So um right now I'm reading crap. Right now I'm reading um The Lovely Bones. Um, it's really good so far. I wanted to read it because of the movie coming out. Um, I'm about three-fourths of the way done. It's really sad, but it's really good. I'm not going to give a full document, full synopsis of this book for the simple fact that this is supposed to be a four-minute video and it's already approaching three minutes. Um, The Long Valley by Steinbeck. I have a slight obsession with Steinbeck and you know that. Um... Steinbeck, The Working Days. Um, this is about when he was writing The Grapes of Wrath. I tried to find the one for East of Eden. I haven't been able to find it. I know it exists. Um, Sarah, this is a note for Christmas present. Steinbeck, Working Days, East of Eden. You know, great idea. Um, Anna Corinna. I have um, wanted to read it. Never started, never... Um, I've had it for almost two years now, and I've just, like, always wanted to read it and just never started it. Um, The Glass Castle, I was told by Aaron that I needed to read this, that it was really, really good, so I went ahead and got it. Um, The Red Pony by Steinbeck. My Steinbeck obsession doesn't even, it shouldn't embarrass me, but it's kind of bad. <laughs> Um, a Tree Grows in Brooklyn. I got this from the used bookstore and, again, just haven't read it. Um, Chuck Holsterman, four. I've, I'm about, mm, an eighth the way through. It's just a collection of his different interviews with different celebrities and just kind of how crazy everyone is. Um, Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. I think this one might be next, but I'm not positive. I've really wanted to read it. I just never have. And I want to I want to read that, and then I want to watch the hours. Those are my two things I need to do over break. Um, a separate piece. Again, that's something that I got at the used bookstore and just haven't read yet. Um, Prime Prejudice. I have tried to start reading this book um, at least five times and never done it. It's just it's hard to get through. It's really hard to get through. And I love the movie so much that, like, it's really kind of boring to read the book because I know exactly what happened. So I probably won't read this one on 
winter break if I'm being completely honest with myself, but kept in the pile just in case. Um, Kurt Vonnegut, Slaughterhouse 5. I actually got to use a Vonnegut reference in my um, women's studies paper, which I was really proud about. Um, to Kill a Mockingbird, I have sadly never read this book. I've seen the movie, but I've never read this book. It wasn't, like I know for a lot of people it was assigned reading, but it wasn't for me. Um, Broken, which is actually supposed to be a um, takeoff of To Kill a Mockingbird. That's why I have both of them and they're together. Um, so my plan is to read To Kill a Mockingbird first and then to read Bro Broken. Um, Ordinary People. I got it at Goodwill, I think. It looked good, so I decided to buy it. Um, yeah. And Running With Scissors. I've seen the movie, um, and I've really wanted to read the book and just, again, haven't. Um, and I really want to reread Winter Girls. I also really want to reread re re East of Eden. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to let myself um, do that. So yeah, I have even more um, over in that pile that I'm looking at. <laughs> but um, I kind of took some out because I realized that there was no way in hell that I was going to read all of those. Um, I think my goal is probably 10. I think that's a good goal. I mean, I have a while. So I think this video is, like, going to be eight minutes long. Um, so, yeah, so those are all the books I want to read. There's more that I would love to reread. <laughs> this is my problem with books, is that, like, I'll read a book that I really, really like, and then it's hard for me to go read another book that I haven't already read because there's so many books that I, I've read and I love. And I just know that they're good. That when, you know, you read a new book, you don't know if you're going to like it. And nine times out of ten, it just completely sucks. And is a waste of time. And then, like, you're halfway through it. And you're like, I really hate this book, but I can't put it down because, you know, I'm halfway through it. There was one book that was like that, like, in particular. Um, sadly, um, The Winter of Our Discontent by Seinbeck was slightly like that for me. Like, I read half of it, and it was just so depressing, just so so unbelievably depressing. It was our, and it was like the winter time, so it was really just ugly outside, and I wasn't in the best of moods to begin with. And then we add in the winter of our discontent. Why I picked that one up, I don't know. But yeah, so um, and I'll rem I remember it specifically because I was in psychology, and Mr. Murphy was say talking about bipolar disorder. And so he was talk talking about depression and mania. And he was saying, yeah, Steinbeck, when he wrote that, he was, he was that. And I'm like, Steinbeck wasn't bipolar. <laughs> He's like, I mean depressed. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, I knew that already, but okay. Psychology. Sarah, I'm sure you're in there laughing. Okay, this is going to be an eight nine minute video now and I'm sorry to do this to you but I just kind of feel like talking and I'm not really saying much that's interesting um now I'm deciding if I want to do a like quick synopsis of you know what okay so here's the deal for every book I read over winter break this is this is my thing for every book I read over winter break I will then give like a summary review of it and tell everyone what I think about it that's the, those will be my videos basically for winter break so okay I'm gonna see you very very soon because you're gonna be home very very soon and bye